Yo homes, welcome back to another Illustrator Plus After Effects tutorial, mainly an After Effects tutorial. And in this one, I'll teach you how to create vintage film scratch played effect, the VFX from the scratch. And let's begin. So let's start with illustrator to make the frames we will need to create the ultimate scratch plate effect, the individual plates for sale. And for that we ha I have collected a few stock photos of scratches, film scratches and brought them in illustrator file and now we will vectorize it. We will vectorize it by creating a new artboard for every single frame. We don't need much frame, there are like uh, something around 10 and since we will be using it video and the most standard aspect ratio is 16 to 9 so we will be using artboard of that aspect ratio 1600 pixel by 900 pixel for sale and now let's vectorize the photographs and proceed to the next step now let us vectorize those screens for that we will select uh, each photo and then trace the image to trace the image go to the properties panel and there you will get an option called uh, image trace and we will use the default settings by default settings the image is traced into vector in two colors which is complete white and complete black and since we will be using in the video that's the perfect color since we will be using we only need the white portion and uh, as you can see not all photographs are in the correct aspect ratio but since this is a plate this isn't some uh, an image or shape we can stretch it as much as we like there we don't have to maintain the aspect ratio unlike in most cases so with the, the screens done, let us do the same with the rest of the screens. With the tracing done, let us move on to exporting the screens. Uh, one more thing, if you want to edit those traced re results in the full vector form, use the expand option from the properties panel. We are not doing it here since we don't need to. And about the exporting, let us export the screens by using the export as option from file menu and then select PNG option because for some reason that works better than JPG of artboard exports in After Effects just a experienced advisor going say and don't forget to click the use artboard option select the PNG option and then export in your total resolution I like to export in the highest possible resolution so that I can use it better. Let's move on to the next step. Now if you don't want to go through all the steps we just went through especially collecting the right stock images you can directly download the vector collection of the vectorized screens from my Statistok account link in the description below other than that you can of course follow the steps by yourself. Moving on to the next step. Now let us move on to our After Effects for actually using the screens and creating the video format of the scratch bread effect that we will be using in our files on our projects etc. For that let's create a new composition and uh, since we have a really high resolution collection of screens I'll go for a 4k uh, preset. We don't have to do it, you can do it 1080 and depending on what you need. And once the composition is done, we will move on to importing the images. Let, uh, with our composition ready, let us import the screen simply by dragging them into the composition and resize it to fill out the entire composition. Since it's the colors are in absolute black and absolute white, we don't have to worry about the transparency and I'll tell you why later on. Let us just arrange them one after the other the, by simply skipping a few frames. The shortcut for moving up and down 10 frames at a time is 
shift plus page up and shift plus page down in windows um and by and to uh, trim out the starting and ending of each layer in a prefix is alt plus open square bracket to start and alt plus close square bracket for ending just once we have arranged the screens let us move on by creating a new composition in our new composition what we'll do is we'll simply repeat we'll bring in the base composition repeat it multiple times so that this composition becomes much longer than the base composition which is very short the reason for doing so is when you use the final uh, scratch plate vfx video in your projects you don't want to repeat it again and again every single time so uh, once we create the this uh, scratch plate in a much longer time by repeating the base one we can use uh, we can use it more easily at more convenience and convenience matters we are all lazy just do it once uh, bring in the composition repeat it by the shortcuts control plus v, control c plus control b on mac and control command sorry command c plus command v on mac and control c plus control v on windows and shortcut for uh, going to the end of a the end of a layer and starting a new layer from that is o for uh, o for going to the end which is o for out and then opening square bracket for starting the layer from there we'll repeat it multiple times and we'll transform it by rotating it rotating the layer horizontally or vertically in between sometimes so that it gets it is less repeated although since we will be using in projects where some other video is the primary and this is just a vfx uh we can notice that the same thing is being repeated but why why help that we gotta do our best and it's not much effort anymore once that's done, we will move on to the next step. With the composition ready the next step is simply exporting the composition as a video file as i said earlier i will repeat once more we don't have to worry about the transparency of the layer and i will tell you why very soon uh, for this the best option is using adobe media encoder and to bring the file to the media encoder simply go to export panel and add to media encoder queue the shortcut is command plus option plus m in mac and control plus alt plus m in windows once the file is on the ready on the export queue of the media encoder choose a good preset that works with it as i said earlier since we have high quality high resolution files and the compositions are also in high resolution i am exporting it in high quality 4k so that uh, I can use it in more variety of projects. Once that's done, 
let's start the uh, export queue and it will take a little time and after that we'll move on to the next step which is using the wavex in our project now before i show you how to use the exported video in a composition in a project of your own if you don't want to go through all the steps we have gone through and you just want to know how to use the uh, VFX on a file and you want to have a ready VFX you can use the one I have just created it's available on my Shutterstock account I'll add a link to that in the description below or you can just follow the steps we have been going through till now and create your own with that being said let's show you how to use it in a project now to use it in a competition in a project what we'll do is we'll simply bring the vfx the video that we just exported into the project the project in this particular case is a cinematic video essay that i created which calls which the title love is conditional it's like on my channel you can go give it a watch if you like please do uh, that being said a good step would be to create another composition inside the project the perks of doing that is you don't have to repeat the video file inside a project because that will make multiple layers and it's easier to control a single layer than multiple layers and so what we'll do is we'll create another composition of the same length as the final composition of the project you want to use the vfx on and in that we will repeat the vfx multiple times till it completes uh, it fills out the length of the composition the same way we created the same way we did it while uh, exporting the final vfx file now we didn't uh, didn't make it longer than we did to because that would be impractical as you can see this particular project is 8 minutes long and exporting a 8 minute long vfx is impractical so after uh, doing it, it is getting an, as I said, creating another composition of the same length as the final composition and filling out the composition with the VFX by repeating it multiple times and we will be using the transfer tool, transform tool to uh, flip it horizontally and vertically occasionally in between the layers so that it gets even less repeated. With that done, let's move on to using that composition into the final composition. With our VFX composition ready, let us go to the uh, the final composition of the project you are working on and bring in the VFX composition as I have been saying we don't have to worry about the transparency of the composition and I'll tell you why now the simple reason is since the layers are in absolute black and absolute white uh, you can simply turn the blend mode from normal to screen and that will remove all the black parts of it and only the white will remain with the box of that is you can see only the scratches and thus you have we have completed creating a vintage film scratch split from scratch and used it in our completion to give it a vintage retro feel So once this completes the tutorial of creating a scratch plate right from scratches. <laughs> uh, do subscribe to the channel for more such tutorials. There will be more coming and I already have many of them live in the channel for give a watch. Uh, do like the video if you liked it, hit the bell notification so that you keep getting you stay notified about every new video I release. Uh, share the video with your friends. Sharing knowledge is great. Uh, and use the comment section to let me know what you thought about the video. What you suggest me, what you want to see in next tutorials, uh, your queries, etc. You can also follow me on other social media platforms, mainly Instagram. Links in the description below. If you are interested in my graphic design projects then i do have reveal and behance accounts also links in the description below and you can use my stock elements vectors clips etc from my 2020 and sort of stock accounts also links in the description below so homes don't forget to stay above the crowd 
keep polishing your skills for that hope to see you again in the next video till then matane